So we've been uh, struggling with condensation in our uh, chest freezer converted refrigerator and uh, we've been running this thing for well over a year and it does run off grid. Uh, so I've cut a couple 2x4 blocks to set under it. We're going to open the drain and set a pan under it. And uh, as far as the inside, I'll show you what we're going to do there to try to get a little relief. We've discussed uh, various things to put in the bottom of the uh, <coughs> chest freezer refrigerator um, to keep the food off the bottom. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to cut a piece of this uh, big plastic pallet here. Uh, and bleach the life out of it. I'm going to bleach it very well after I cut it and uh, clean it and bleach it and I'm going to just put a piece of that in the bottom of that fridge so that nothing actually sits in the bottom of the fridge. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do. I'll show you when I'm done. Hopefully I can get that clean enough that, uh, that I'll be able to use it. If not, I'll find something else. So this went alright. This stuff cuts pretty well with a sawzall blade. Some hosing and scrubbing and this thing cleaned up just fine. It's plastic, you know how it goes. Going to uh, give it a little squirt down with some uh, bleach water now and it's ready to go in the bottom of the fridge. All right, so there's the thing in the fridge. Uh, the rust spots were here when we bought it because you know, it was used and we got a deal. But if you don't know how these work, that's a probe right there that I put in inside of a piece of pipe. The probe's right about mid height of the fridge and the probe goes back to a uh, refrigerator uh, thermostat that is just uh, spliced in between the uh, the uh, hot leg on the uh, power line and you just uh, adjust your temperature there because being a freezer you just turn the freezer knob all the way up and uh, anytime that it uh, the thermostat uh, hits to 40, that freezer's going to want to run, so it does come on. Anyway, this is the uh, efficient way to run a refrigerator off-grid. And I've put the 2x4 legs under it, and now the thing has a drip pan. So that should take care of our condensation problem with the big plastic pallet in the bottom, uh, keeping the uh, food off the uh, bottom. We're still working on an organization system for this, but we'll get that figured out. And if we ever do, I'll make a video about it. Thanks for watching.